don't know why I decided first things first this morning when I woke up to switch out my duvet, but I got this new one the other day on Amazon, so I washed it last night, and it looks so much better in my room. It's more of this, like, cottony, not like silk, but a super soft cotton cover instead of the other one, which was linen, and so anytime I washed it, it was so wrinkly every time I took it out. This one has a couple of wrinkles right now, which is fine, but I feel like it just helps the overall look of my bed so much more and just makes it look more cozy. I also decided to go with these throw pillows that I have instead of big white square ones because I feel like this cream knit actually looks really nice with the Sherpa and ties in the throw blanket. So I feel like overall the bedding situation is really coming together. procrastinate any longer this morning we're gonna pick up the workout set and head down to the gym because it's so gloomy and I'm having zero motivation honestly this whole last week I've been running on no motivation so we need to fix that so I've been going to workout classes just because that's like the only way that I can get through a workout if I want some extra motivation and I don't have it but I'm just gonna wear this Nike set these are the Zenvi leggings all-time favorite leggings ever. I want to get them in the navy blue color because they're so comfy. And then this is the sports bra. Love. But we're going to change, make some pre-workout because I need it. I didn't have a coffee this morning so I think I'm going to go to a coffee shop later. And then we will get the workout in. Before I head down to the gym, I had to show you guys my new headphones. So freaking cute. I got these on Amazon. Obsessed. Like you would literally think these are AirPod Maxes, but they were a quarter of the price. AirPod Maxes are $600 and I love them because of the way that they look, but I cannot justify spending $600 on them simply because they're noise canceling because people say that they aren't the best for working out in and that's definitely what I would wear them for majority of the time. But these ones, so stinking cute and they're perfect for like working from home or if you're going on like hot girl walks or something outside because they aren't noise canceling so you can like hear your surroundings and everything. But yeah, I love them. They also come in like a light green color and then graphite. So these are so stinking cute. Yeah, we'll go get the workout in this morning and do a little leg day. I'll link them down below for you guys though because are we kidding? I love. <laughs> That was such a tough leg day and it's such a sweaty workout. I haven't drank two of these water bottles through a workout probably ever. And so that's how you know it was a good one. But I switched the order that I do things. Typically I'll warm up on the Stairmaster or do an incline walk for like 20 to 25 minutes and then I'll get into my workout for the day. But today I was like the last place I'm gonna be is the gym right now doing a leg workout. So we're just gonna get the leg exercises over with and then I'll end on the Stairmaster and wow, that was the way to go because I feel like I just got such a good sweat in and maybe I'll start doing that more often or starting to switch it up a little more and I typically never stretch before my workouts so that felt good to do. I'm gonna make my protein oats, of course. You guys know the drill. I'll show you guys actually how I make them because it's been a while since I've shared the recipe. I think last time was probably a year or so ago and then I'm gonna shower right now because I just cannot be sitting this sweat throughout breakfast. Also, I always take my daily supplements before breakfast, keep them all organized in this acrylic bin, keep it in my cabinet, so I am reminded to take them daily. I'll take a magnesium, ashwagandha, probiotic for gut health, of course, and then this Natural Beauty Complexion Supplement for my skin health. This is from Beam and I love it. I've been using this for the past like two months. Honestly, I wanted to rave about them to you guys after about three weeks of taking them, but I'm like, you know what? I wanna have like a solid foundation down with this to know that it truly works for me and my skin before I recommend a product with you guys, especially something that has to do with supplements. So 
I've been taking these for the last two months and I freaking love them. It boosts collagen production, helps support the moisture barrier, and helps to reduce fine lines and wrinkles because it has a vitamin C, which is one of my favorite ingredients. You guys know I freaking love vitamin C. So when it's in a supplement or it's in my skincare, I'm like, yes, sign me up because it's just the best. And it also has pomegranate juice powder, which helps the skin renewal process because it's just packed with antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. Because by about week two, my skin was purging a little bit with this product, which is natural for your skin to do. Your skin is turning over new skin cell layers and bringing new skin to the surface by about week three my skin really started to clear up and i was like okay i'm seeing this week four i noticed such a big difference in my skin it was just a lot more glowy looking and it smooths out my skin and like I said, I've been using it for the past two months and staying consistent with this, staying consistent with my skincare has been such a game changer. So I just take two capsules daily. It comes with 60 capsules, which is a 30 day supply. And I'll take them in the morning before my breakfast and everything. So if you guys are on the hunt for a supplement to add into your routine, I would definitely recommend this one. Also because it is 100% vegan, it's non-GMO and it's free from the top nine allergens. It is also a third party tested. So I'm just very confident putting this into my body and adding it into my routine. So if you wanna take priority of your skin health this year, definitely recommend checking this out. I also got a code so you guys can get 10% off your first order with the code Snyder using the link down below, which will get you at that little discount. I did my best to try to make it look presentable, but honestly, the almond butter kind of ruined it. I do also like this mostly with fresh raspberries typically, but I just have frozen berries on hand right now, so I just use that. But it's my favorite breakfast. It's so high in protein and it's so good. I just had my hair towel dry for about 45 minutes, and now it's still obviously so, so wet. My hair is incredibly thick, but I'm going to blow it dry using the Shark. Honestly, I don't really know... A routine with the shark yet i really want to learn how to do like a really fun blowout with the curling attachments but right now i just use the blow dryer piece and then this to give my hair like a little bit of a blowout obviously not like a full-on curled blowout look but this just helps like straighten and dry my hair at the same time like this curling attachment which i love and i'm trying to learn more about it because it definitely is like a learning experience just with how long and thick my hair is it takes a long time and so i'm nervous to learn how to curl it because i know it'll take so long but supposedly i think it's better for your hair like using a dyson or the shark correct me if i'm wrong but i'm assuming that's why people have been switching over and i got it for christmas and i love the blow dryer it is so fast and it dries my hair within like i'd say 20 minutes so plug this in and to my hair. I just put in this blowout treatment. This is from Oribe. It's the Imperial Blowout Styling Cream. Honestly, I've had this for years, but rarely ever do I style my hair. So I'm trying to get more into it this year and get like a routine down of generally doing my hair in the mornings and not just throwing it in my typical low buns or ponytails. But it feels weird to shower this early in the day. Like typically I take my everything shower at night and I'm not really like morning shower person. I shower every day after my workout, it's like a body shower, but never fully wash my hair and stuff.
styled, I'm going to put in some of this hair oil and just focus it on the ends. Here's a better visual with the natural lighting of how my hair looks once I kind of blow it out. I say that in air quotes because it's really not a blowout. I definitely have to get my hair cut because it's at that length right now where it's just way down and heavy. So once I get a cut, it'll be able to have like more movement. But this side definitely looks a lot better than this one. Honestly, I just love it because blow drying my hair and styling it, it gives it like lots of volume on the top and stuff that I wouldn't get if I just let it air dry. So anyways, I'm gonna get some work done. Honestly, just have like a chill work from home day. I wanted to go to a coffee shop, but it is so gloomy out. You can hardly see the roads right now. And it's so foggy. It's like the funkiest weather. And it's been like this for the last week and a half. And I don't know what's going on in Florida, but we've had a cold front also. Like it's gonna be so cold this next coming week, which I'm not excited about because one of my best friends is coming to visit and it's gonna be 49. Also, I just thought I had a hole in the sweatshirt because it was like a black fuzz. I think it's gone. But yeah, it's gonna be a cozy day. I'm gonna set the vibes, get some work done. Honestly, probably just work from my couch today because that's the mood. And I have some editing to do. I need to upload my podcast, take care of all that. I do desperately need a cold brew though, even though it's the afternoon. I thought I was gonna be going to a coffee shop, so I didn't make my cold brew this morning. And now we need it. This is just essential. Feeling productive, getting my ish done. And on a cozy day like today, the last thing I feel like doing is getting some work done. I just wanna lay down, watch YouTube, but got some editing to do so we'll take care of that last night i literally fell asleep by 8 30 i was so tired i had no idea what came over me yesterday i think from just staring at my computer pretty much all day because this week has been pretty busy with work i was drained Happy Saturday. It's just about 9 30 this morning. Finishing up my coffee. I made this before I went on a walk this morning and now we're finishing it up. But I went for a three mile walk, listened to a podcast, and it just felt so nice to get fresh air to kick off the day because yesterday I pretty much spent the entire day inside my apartment. I got a bunch of work done in the afternoon, so I really didn't end up vlogging the rest of the day. But I figured we'd pick it back up today. I'm honestly just going to chill around at my apartment and have a cozy day at home. I'm turning this into a cozy home vlog because I just want to start romanticizing my days at home and not feeling the need to keep a vlog so interesting by going out and doing a bunch of things if that's not what I feel like doing and lately I've just been very comfortable being home and just like doing my daily routine and working and doing all of that because I'm really trying to prioritize just relaxing more this year and being more intentional with my relaxation and just being creative in that time because I find that I will make myself so busy just for no apparent reason and it's more like unintentional because I just like to make my days busy with things to do to keep a vlog interesting or to keep myself stimulated. I think it's a coping mechanism to just not deal with sitting alone and being bored but boredom is like so crucial. I feel like whenever I am bored I do come up with 
very creative ideas or I feel so recharged from having that time just really doing nothing and just being alone like with my creative thoughts and creative ideas. So this year definitely working at making that priority because I do not like when I'm just constantly going out through my days very unintentionally and trying to keep myself busy when there is no need to. So that is why I've been honestly just like prioritizing and enjoying my time at home and stuff. But yeah, so that's a little chat this morning. I'm going to upload the podcast. Yeah, we're going to have a chill Saturday. I also want to watch a movie tonight and just like cozy up because that is the vibes. That is what the weather is definitely giving this morning. made the yummiest smoothie which is a shocker because I typically never crave smoothies but I just want to have like more nutrient dense snacks in the middle of my day so protein packed smoothie is a great way to get in lots of nutrients and vitamins so I put in some protein some greens we snuck in here frozen banana I swear that made all of the difference and really helped like the sweetness of my smoothies because typically I'll do like a regular banana and I swear that just doesn't make it taste as good so frozen banana is where it's at but yeah this is so yummy and I'm definitely going to be making this like daily because I love it we have probably the most exciting package I've ever received in my life you should have seen the look on my face when they showed up at my doorstep I was like for me Okay, I freaking love Rare Beauty. They sent over a PR package of the new Comfort line. It's just like a bunch of body care and I think home maybe? What does it say? Yeah, self comfort and body collection. So I'm excited to try this. This is like my invite in my head. Me being the Lulu right now, like I'm gonna go on a Rare Beauty brand trip. I'm putting that out right now. That is my ultimate dream and my big goal. So this is a stepping stone to it, okay, you guys? Like I'm on the PR list, Miss Selena herself. Just kidding. But for real, I cannot wait to try these products. So we'll go through everything. First thing is a candle. Oh my God, this is so cute. I'm putting this on my bedside table. Let's see how it smells. Oh my gosh, this smells like a bubble bath, but 10 times better. It literally smells like my mom. Wow. I probably won't even be burning this. I love it too much. Then we've got some hand cream. I saw this on Instagram. You basically like, well, you twist it and then it's supposed to be like a pressure point, like massager for your palm, which is really cool. So put some of that on. Also, I love how I can just like throw this in my purse or have it in my car. My hands have been so dry recently. I have a hand cream in my car and I've pretty much gone through the entire thing. I don't know why all of a sudden, but then they've got some face mist, I think this is. Face mist. Oh, body and hair fragrance mist. Let's see how it smells. Spray in the hair. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm interested to see how long that lasts because that is probably the best smelling thing I have ever put on my body. It has kind of like a musky scent to it, which is one of my favorites. I love perfume that kind of smells, not like manly, but has like that musky scent, you know? And I don't know what the notes are with this. I'm trying to find it. I don't think it says anything, but it smells so, so, so good. I will be buying this on my own once I finish this bottle because that's how good it is. Then there's hydrating body lotion and then Oh, stop and smooth or stop and soothe aromatherapy pen. I want to show you guys the packaging. It's just so sleek and minimal. I love it. Rare Beauty has the best stuff ever. I just got into my car. I'm going to go meet my friend Anna. I think we're going to go for a little walk or something, but I only have biker shorts on right now. 
So I think I'm kind of regretting this decision since it's 53 out. Oh, it's 60, but in my head it feels like 53. Anything below 60 is cold to me. I just got back home and I guess today is quite the day of packages. We got some more things in the mail, but these are some hair packages. And then this one I wanted to open because I'm so curious what the heck this could be. The reason I want to open it on camera is because it's from a Minnesota address and it's like somebody's personal address. So I'm like, what in the heck could this be? What? And how would somebody get my mailing address? I'm really so confused right now. It's a whole, oh, it's like a PR package. It's like a handwritten note. Is this like somebody that I would know? Huh. Guys, I'm genuinely so confused. Like this is not a business address. This is someone's personal address. Like it says their first and last name. But the first and last name is so basic. It's one of those like, what do you call it? John Doe, that's what I'm trying to say. Like that's basically what the address seems like. It's a John Doe address. I honestly am so genuinely confused. Oh, I think it's like something to do, cannabis infused social tonic. So it's not alcohol, it's like a hemp drink, THC. Okay, interesting. That's not really my vibe, but uh, to each their own. I've never had something like that before. Like, I don't wanna get high from drinking something. Anyways, that was that. I guess I'll just open all the packages because why not? This one is from Burst. I love Burst skincare. They always send me free stocks also. I use their moisturizer all the time and the makeup cleansing balm. So they sent over some body lotion, overnight barrier balm, moisturizing gel cream, dark spot gel, and then what's this? Instant resurfacing mask. I love that. This is from Beach House. Cute. You know what I do need more of actually is swimwear. I have no swimsuits right now. I know this isn't swimwear, but I do need to find some solid swimsuits. So if you have any recommendations of where to get cute swimwear, please let me know. And swimwear that like genuinely lasts, but isn't $150. Like every cute swimsuit I see or like have somebody post in, I'll like go look it up. And then I see that it's $150 for the entire set, which I just cannot justify paying that. Okay, this is like wrapped. How do I open it? I'm making myself nervous right now. I don't think this could have been taped up anymore. <laughs> Are we kidding? Why does this take me so long to open? Do not follow after me. I'm using these scissors in such a bad way too. Okay, there we go. Open it upside down, but whatever. Box inside a box. Ooh, what is this? Hi Lauren, we're so excited for you to try sheet masks oh cute i love sheet masks and i don't have any so this will be fun to try out now i'm going to throw this away and then finally unbox all the amazon finds now it is time for the amazon haul i just unpackaged everything so we'll try it all on but each piece is so freaking soft so i'm eager to see like how it fits and everything but i picked up some lululemon dupes some different skims dupes I really was in my deep dive on Amazon the other day. Also, I haven't made this big of an Amazon order like ever, so this will be fun to try it all on. I just put on the first outfit and I already know this is gonna be such a good haul. So first thing, I just got this very cropped zip up little sweatshirt. I love things like this to just throw over my workout sets when I head out in the morning, because it's always like a little bit chillier. And then once I feel like warmed up, I usually take it off in the middle of my workout class. But I thought that this would be so cute, honestly, also to just wear like lounging around. And then you can cinch it in to make it like more cropped and fitted. But I love like the loose fit of this white zip up. And then underneath, this is very similar to the flow eyebrow. I'm like shocked by the fit and everything of it. But this was supposed to be a matching set. Clearly the colors are a bit off. So I'm either gonna keep the sports bra or the leggings. I don't know yet because I love the comfort of both of them. And it just reminds me so much of the Lulu Flow Wide Bra. And then also these remind me of the Lulu Align Leggings. So, so, so similar. I would say these are a little bit more soft. So if you wish that the Align Leggings had more of that like buttery soft material, these leggings will be absolutely perfect for you. And they're just so stretchy, it's so comfortable. I love them and of course they're high-waisted. I don't know which one I'm gonna return though because I love the color of the sports bra. But also the feel of these leggings. I have to check if they were both called Rhino Gray. I'm like nearly 85% sure they both were. We'll have to see. But I'm definitely going to be keeping this sweatshirt because I just love it. It's so lightweight and super perfect to just like 
throw over a little workout set. Up next, I got the same exact sports bra and leggings as what I was just wearing, but this is actually a matching set now. And this is in a navy blue color. I've been wanting a navy blue set for the longest time. I almost bought one from Lulu the other day. I'm glad I didn't because this is like a quarter of the price and it fits so nicely. Again, this is that like same style as the Flow Y bra. You can see it from the back. And then these are very similar to the line leggings. I believe the ones that I just had on were double lined because these ones just feel a lot more like stretchy and a little bit thinner, which I prefer. So I think I'm gonna keep these ones and return the other leggings because these are just so freaking comfortable. And I feel like the perfect comfort and feel for like an Orange Theory class or a hit style of workout where those ones might be more comfortable for like lounging around or a yoga class. But yeah, this navy blue set is everything and I love it. Clearly I went a little overboard with the black workout tops. I thought I ordered some in like white and grays, but I guess not. So I'm gonna have to return some of these, but we'll see which ones fit best. I think I'm definitely gonna love this style because it feels very, very similar to Skims and has that workout feel to it, like that dry fit material almost. Yeah, this one seems like be able to wear it, not only for workout classes, but also like styled. Yeah, I can already tell that this one is a win. Yeah, this is so comfy. Okay, keeping this, I also got this in a size extra small. I'll have all of my sizes of everything down below because I know sizing can be kind of funky on Amazon with some stuff but this is so cute. This is from one of my favorite brands on Amazon, which is called Trendy Queen. They just have like such quality, good basics, and this is a very comfy little top. This next black long sleeve is so incredibly soft. It's like a very lightweight material, but it's so buttery smooth, and I like how it's not cropped. Like it goes all the way down to the waist, which I think would be super nice to have. So I think I'm gonna keep this one as well, like wearing under a vest if I wanna style it like that, or again, just over top of a sports bra for a workout class. Super comfy and cute. Now I'm just making myself super indecisive because this is another black top, but obviously it's a completely different style. It's more of that wide neck, which I love. I think it's so flattering, but it's definitely more of a cotton material and pretty thin. It also has like a little bit of crop to it. I got it in a gray color as well. They came in like a set of two. So I'll try on the gray and if I don't like the gray, then I'll just return these. But I do love the cut of this. I think it's super flattering. Ignore the fact that the lighting is getting kind of funky. The sun's just about to set, but this is that gray one that came in that pack with the black. And honestly, not loving it like it's very soft super comfy but it's nothing that i would wear to workout class or anything to ride home about the material is pretty thin it's very soft and comfy but not something that's worth keeping so i'm gonna return this one and that black one but probably keep the other black long sleeves because honestly i love them so i have a couple more t-shirts to try on and then we'll wrap it up last couple pieces i got are such solid basics i've been wanting more like full length tees so i just got this black one and then this is the same exact thing just in like a steel gray color i'm also going to order it in white because this material is way too freaking good it reminds me of the skims fits everybody collection which it's hard to find at skims dupes like you really can't and this is the closest thing that i've found to it and these are just so soft, such a good basic to have. So again, I will link everything down below for you guys. I did get that red long sleeve, but I'm gonna be returning it because I know I will not be wearing that. And I meant to get it in a white color because it's like that same fit as the black long sleeve that I got, which I absolutely love. So honestly, I'm really shocked with everything. I did not expect everything to be like perfect fit and the material is so good, but there's a few returns that I'm gonna make. Otherwise, everything was so solid. So I'll link all of my favorites down below for you guys, as well as all the sizing. Dinner tonight is gonna be one of the most easy meals to make. I love having salad kits on hand. So I have half of this one from Trader Joe's. It's the delicious chopped salad kit. I'm gonna use this, also use some more arugula. And then I use these chicken meatballs from Trader Joe's on top. So good, also I love these because they're fully cooked and chicken just kind of freaks me out a little bit whenever I cook it on my own. So these are nice because I just warm them up on the stove top. For the toppings, I'm gonna use some of this creamy garlic tzatziki. This is so freaking good. Um, I always put this when I make my Greek bowls. Then of course, pickled onions. And lastly, we've got some thin-dried tomatoes. Oh, also I'm gonna add a little bit of arugula just for some added greens and stuff. But yeah, that's my very quick little recipe. so easy so healthy to make i forgot i also usually add um feta or cucumber but i don't have any right now 